Patricia Neal for Paul Newman. Come on. Right this way. Thank you. <laughs> there she is. Paul? Oh, it's so great to see you again. Pat? Oh. Smarty. We thought you might have gotten lost. But only in this house. It's enormous. Thrilled to have you on board, Pat. Oh, I'm thrilled you wanted me. So, Pat likes the script, don't you, Pat? Oh, absolutely. I adore it. Glad to hear it. Me too. Great. So, as we were saying earlier, Paul, I think what Pat can bring to the park... So how come it took you so long to say yes, then? Paul, I'm just curious, Marty's all. Scripts like this don't come along every day. Wouldn't you agree, Pat? Of course. So, it's natural to wonder... why all the gaming? So? How come it took you so long to say yes? Uh, you may have heard my my daughter, Olivia. She... I heard. Now, what does someone say to that? Oh, you don't need to say anything. Shit happens, right? Yeah. Shit happens. So I've got a crazy idea. Let's talk about HUD. You got a favorite scene, Pat? Favorite scene? Um, well, ah, oh, there are so many of them. Um, well, there's the car and, well, the bus station. I love that scene. That's some great writing. You, you have a book yet? What? Uh, sure. Not for throwing some lines around? Paul, you're not being fair. You haven't given the lady any warning. You said she's off book. Sure, no, no, I, I, I'm ready. Well, looks like we're losing a good cook. Maybe we should have boosted your salary a little. You ain't letting that little ruckus we had run you off, are you? As far as I can get on a bus ticket. Claiming I'm the first guy who ever stuck his foot in your door? No. First one who ever got rough, huh? Well, I'm sorry. That ain't my style. I don't usually get rough on my women. I uh, generally don't have to. You're tough on everyone? Rough. What? It's your rough on everybody, not tough. They're clues in the line. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Um, I don't usually get rough on my women. I generally don't have to. You're rough on everyone. That's all they tell me. You want to know something funny? It would have happened eventually without the rough house. You look pretty good without your shirt on, you know. You look pretty good without your shirt on. Uh, the sight of that through the kitchen window made me put my dishcloth down more than once. Why didn't you say something sooner? Don't remember you, honey. You're the one that got away. Wanna, wanna go again? Ah. You, uh, play pool, Pat? Everything okay? We weren't expecting to see you. I know. What was wrong? Uh, wrong with what? The, the bus station. Oh, we were just talking about that. Paul and I have an idea. We might go in the a different... The scene is fine. It was me. I was all wrong. No, Pat. Marty. All right. Looks like we're losing a good cook. Maybe you should have boosted your salary a little. 
You ain't letting that little ruckus we had run you off, are you? As far as I can get on a bus ticket. Claiming I'm the first guy who ever stuck his foot in your door. Hmm. Hmm. The first one who ever got rough, huh? Well, I'm sorry. Ain't my style, huh? Don't usually get rough with my women. Uh, generally don't have to. You're rough on everybody. So they tell me. You want to know something funny? It would have happened eventually without the rough house. You look pretty good without your shirt on, you know. Side of that through the kitchen window made me put my dish towel down more than once. Why don't you say something sooner? Huh. You know, no, no kiss. You just walk straight to the bus and, and not even look back. That is the bus station scene. I wasn't so aware of, uh, of the story as I should have been, maybe. I mean, I knew of both individuals, and I don't think I had known they were married or that they had this uh, history. So it was fascinating read in the first place just to see uh, how they met and how they got together and uh, their family life. But I've always admired her as an actress. And I didn't know her, or really of her, and I uh, obviously had started watching a lot of the Paul Newman movies and, and watched HUD and she was incredible. In yeah, and yeah. And it's really interesting, the sort of story behind it and how that, you know, she, she, she wasn't sure about doing it and Marty really had to convince her and, mm -hmm. uh, and she won the Oscar for it. Yeah, That's incredible. 20 pages, I think. So it's a, about one page less than I have, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed. But it's not a traditional role, either, that you would probably win, an, I think, win for, because, you know, it's not the sort of particularly glamorous role, is it? No, no, she's a, a woman who's lived, but I just think that I love that Marty, my character, was so convinced that she was right for her, and he fought for her the whole mm. way. And, Hmm. Paul was less so, and understandably so, because he thought, why isn't she jumping at this? Yeah, yeah, and that's certainly in this script, I think, that Paul, you know, is, he's unsure of why, she, you know, she has this reluctance. And, and we learn to find out that, you know, she, she's, they've lost a child, and, um, and that's, you know, a big factor in it. But I think, I wonder what would happen if they hadn't lost that child, if, you know, it would have been a very different story. Hmm. Who knows? <laughs>